hello everyone in this video i will try to solve one of the question from the student so this question is related to the beta thalassemia major and uh, for beta thalassemia first we have to understand the structure of the hemoglobin so in the fetal life the hemoglobin having the alpha 2 and gamma 2 chains which is known as hbf or fetal hemoglobin it is produced at around 6 weeks of pregnancy and the level remains high after birth until the baby is roughly 2 to 4 month old. So that is the HBF or fetal hemoglobin. In the adult hemoglobin there are two types HbA1 and HbA2. Majorly over 97 percentage in the adult hemoglobin HbA1 is there which have alpha 2 beta 2 chains and uh, in HbA2 alpha 2 delta 2 chain and it is around 2.5 percentage of the total hemoglobin in the healthy individuals so in adult majorly alpha 2 beta 2 chain hemoglobin which is HbA1 type is present fetal hemoglobin HbF alpha 2 gamma 2 chain so please remember HbF having alpha 2 gamma 2 chain HbA1 alpha 2 beta 2 chain and HbA2 alpha 2 delta 2 chain. Now some information about the beta thalassemia. Beta thalassemia major which refers to the patients who are homozygous and have no ability for effective production of beta globin. So simply beta globin it's a polypeptide chain or beta chain it's made up of amino acids and uh, basically when both the beta chain producing genes are damaged or uh, inactive at that time the beta chain synthesis doesn't take place so that the condition is known as beta thalassemia major and uh, it refers to the patients who are homozygous that means both the genes for beta globin chain synthesis are damaged or inactive the disease also known as Coolis anemia so please remember if someone asks about Coolis anemia then it is known as beta thalassemia major and usually starts during the first year of life with profound transfusion dependent anemia and hemoglobin is as low as 2.5 to 6 gram per dl now which are the things happening inside the beta thalassemia major hepatosplenomegaly complications of iron overload and skeletal deformities due to bone marrow expansion endocrinopathies particularly hypogonadism are frequent complications as the result of chronic anemia and iron overload so simply there are hepatosplenomegaly iron overload will be there skeletal deformity endocrinopathies hypogonadism all this type of complications will be there in the beta thalassemia major now one of the characteristic features of beta thalassemia major which is also known as beta 0 thalassemia is uh, elevated levels of fetal hemoglobin HBF the proportion of HBA2 to HBA is also elevated that means HBF remember the HBF the structure of HBF alpha 2 gamma 2 chain and structure of HBA2 alpha 2 delta 2 chain here the beta thalassemia that means beta chain synthesis doesn't take place it's a major beta thalassemia major so beta chain synthesis doesn't take place in the patient so the hemoglobin majorly they having the hbf fetal hemoglobin level and secondly hba2 both are elevated but hbf is more elevated now one student ask me the question that in patients of beta thalassemia major who having the elevated levels of HBF fetal hemoglobin and everyone is knowing that HBF or fetal hemoglobin having the high affinity for the oxygen then why they have severe anemia that means even if the HBF level is increased in the beta thalassemia major patients which having the high affinity for oxygen then why the patients of beta thalassemia major having the severe anemia 
the answer i found that beta thalassemia is the result of impaired production of beta chains of the hba so hba that means alpha 2 beta 2 chains beta 2 chains will not be produced so only there will be two hemoglobin hbf and hba2 beta thalassemia is the result of impaired production of beta chains of hba leading to excess alpha globin chains so there will be large amount of alpha globin chain will be produced so these excess alpha globin chains are unstable and precipitate in the erythrocytes this will form hens bodies which leads to the disruption of the cell membrane and hemolysis so that is the reason even if the patients of beta thalassemia major having the high level of hbf which having the high affinity for oxygen but still the having the severe anemic what is the reason the reason is that beta thalassemia is the result of impaired production of beta chains of the hba which leads to excess alpha globin chain the excess alpha globin chains are unstable and precipitate in the erythrocytes which leads to the disruption of the cell membrane and it causes hemolysis which means breakdown of the rbcs so this is the reason behind the severe anemia in patients of beta thalassemia major now these patients require lifelong transfusion and chelation therapy so i hope from this type of information now you are able to understand why the patients of beta thalassemia major although they having the high level of hbf hbf having the high affinity for oxygen but still they are severely anemic if you like this please share with your friends thank you